Dun dun dun. Oh no, I, I, well, I don't, I was <laughs> your way. I'm sorry, I don't know what you said. What's going on guys? Here it is, the Q&A with my lovely girlfriend, Kat. Hi. <laughs> She's a little shy, but she really thought that this could be a cool video and I agree with her. So we're gonna get right into the questions. Starting the questions out hot, this is from Twitter and it's from iBad2. He asked, this is for you, oh. says, for her, what is it like dating such an incredible multi FPS champion? That's a great question. It's a great question to start this out with. Um, it's kind of funny because people like, here's the thing. I see him as like the lazy guy that doesn't get up in the morning that I got to clean up his underwear off the bathroom floor and you know, clean the stains out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but like, and then people online see him as like, oh my God, he's like so good. He's like amazing at COD. Or like they followed him for like years and years now. And I'm just like, oh yeah, it's like that dork <laughs> that won't stop. Don't, don't on let me. don't let her cat. She's a fan. But, she was a fan of the yeah, kid. Yeah, no, I was, I was definitely a fan. And it's kind of funny. Cause I have that like fan experience of being like, oh my God, like he's, a good player like i remember him when he was on phase and stuff and like with a dylan attach and tommy uh zuma and like um chris crowder and like mm -hmm. i was just like oh he's really cute and then now i have like this completely different view of him where i'm like oh my god this guy is gonna he's so annoying all the time <laughs> she loves me that's a but she loves me basically it's it's funny because i see him be like somebody that people look up to and think highly of which i also do but it's kind of in a different sense because i like know the like all the dorky stuff and all the stuff he won't like want people to see like i see so it's cool i like it the second question is from soto time on twitter and he asked this is for me and cat he said how many years do i think i can compete for and then for Kat, how many more can you handle? And This is a good question. And then he said, much love and respect to you, man. Keep up the grind. Um, I mean, I think there's a difference for me personally on how many more years I think I can, can compete for and then how many more years that I would want to compete for. Because I think, you know, esports and gaming is still so new and it's not like we're hurting our bodies right we're not getting beat up every week we're like you would tackled, yeah so exactly <laughs> so i think i could compete i mean there's professional counter-strike players and other games where there's 30 or 30 plus year olds still competing so i definitely think i could compete well into my 30s but i don't think i would want to um so for my answer it'd probably be like three years tops just because you know i, I want to be able to settle down have a family have you know have a house and, and just start something new because i've been doing this shit for so long you know it's like i don't want to be doing it my whole life we've had like kind of like that talk before where we're like with cod and how it's going now it's very like kind of move to location or be traveling a lot mm -hmm. right um ideally with like the regular season without all of the like restrictions and stuff um so it was we had like a talk before i think the season even started kind of about would we be willing to like t be traveling and kind of not really be like putting down roots yeah. in like one yeah. spot um like soon ish so i think yeah honestly like two she to, can like, handle like 15 more to, years like... <laughs> <laughs> i'm in danger I think two to like, well, because you're 26. So two more years would make you 28 going on 29. Yeah. So for me, I'm <laughs> I'm 22. So did you say 22? You did. You just lied. You just lied. She's 23. I'm, 23. She's not, I'm not way older. I just, I just it, it was just my birthday. Um, but I'm 23. So like giving me a little bit of time to kind of get like in the workforce and like start I don't know getting like being in like a full yeah. adult yeah, yeah, yeah. no i get that <laughs> to, like then start like a family and like settle down and stuff so yeah i think like max i would be like five years okay this next question is from the homie specter it's my guy on Hi, twitch uh, yes, yes. 
His question is, how did you guys meet each other and how long have y'all been dating for? Oh, I'll explain the story. Aww. So, oh, gosh. listen. He's gonna start. <laughs> let me let me break, let me give y'all some history. I don't even know the year it's so bad because I just know by the COD game. Um, <laughs> yeah, can we do one? So I was grinding league play with the homie Bryce. Y'all know him. He's my roommate. He's my agent. Um, but so I'm we were we were grinding story. league play, right? And I get a, a Twitter notification. I look at it. And it's from, I think I followed you at this point. Fellas, you know how it is, you know what I mean? I'm tossing, I tossed a couple likes out here and there, you know what I'm saying? Just to get a feeler. On the selfies, on my selfies, which I had specifically tweeted because I had seen the like coming from Ian. I said, I know what intentions are behind this like. So I posted a selfie and of course, so the like. she tweeted out to her timeline. She tweeted, it wasn't to me, just tweeted out and then like tagged me in at the end. <laughs> And it was some of the lines like, how many more likes or how many more tweets of mine are you gonna like before you slide into DMs? Now, look, so I seen it, right? I like- Fully, full fully type that out. Not a DM, fully a, a tweet. So look, and I'm mid game at, with Bryce. And, and we took we took our World War II seriously. So like, I'm playing, right? I died, seen it, boom. I'm like, oh shit, okay. But I put it down right back to the mix. <laughs> Won the game, right? It was probably 10 minutes later. I open up my, like the notification tweet deleted tweet deleted so she deleted the tweet <laughs> within those 10 minutes here's the thing here's the thing boys and girls i was strategic i said i'm going to at him don't let her cap to y'all do not I let her i will be deleting the tweet because i know no matter what it's going to come up in his notifications once again fellas know your audience know the game you know what i'm saying i threw some feelers out she, no, she was no, taking back said, what do i gotta do to make you my there you wife? go and she was like oh she was blown away oh you trying I to make me your wife. wife but then we just started hanging out by hanging out i would drive two hours from my house um past la like right outside oh no it's still in la county but like deep in la county um to then come all the way over here to Santa Monica area to come see this mega mind guy. But that's the story. <laughs> that's how, that's how it came to what it is today. And now we've been dating just over two years. Our two year anniversary was October 14th. Ooh, yes, yeah, CJ, put that in the thumbnail. Next question guys is from Ban Booty on Twitter and she Ooh. asked, what is both of y'all's favorite game of all time? Well, mine's, this is easy again for me. Favorite game of all time, Halo 2, <laughs> hands down. That's the game that got me to fall in love with gaming. Mine, I really is love- Is it one that you've been playing since I've known you or no? Is it like- I before? think it has to be. I think I really like Breath of the Wild and the sense where it's like the first real like open world game like first person game that i played like that this question is from whoa well, i don't even know how to say Rod rogel and the question is what does she think about your thumb um <laughs> i i would like to say into the mic i love it I, I love it um no i i've never i honestly didn't notice it at first like i knew that he was like missing part of his thumb but like when we first hung out i don't think i really like was like you're like yeah oh, what's up with your finger guy like i was kind of just like yeah i don't think oh, you were like, either whatever it's, it's just like doing stuff and then i think i think a couple dates in is where i was like holding your hand or something yeah and i was like oh like I was trying to do something with his thumb. Like she was like, oh it. shit, what the fuck? <laughs> I was trying to like twiddle his thumb and stuff. And I was like, oh, whatever. Look, wait, look, at, the look yeah. at the difference in skin tone. That's <laughs> real bad, CJ. But yeah, I never, it never mattered to me. It like, he can do everything like any normal person can do with his hands. Yes, so. I, yes, I can. <laughs> okay, I like this one. This is from Sam Hover. And he asked us, can you guys describe each other in three words or less? Well, we got to stroke his ego. So I'm going to say, I think he's handsome. And it's kind of cliche to say handsome and smart, but he's smart. Like he was going to be an accountant. Um, like if he would have finished school, he probably would have been successful in whatever it was that he did. So definitely smart. And what's the last one? Trendy. I don't know. I'd say goofy. Okay. The first one would have to be... And I know this is cliche, 
but definitely caring. Number two, she's obviously gorgeous. I mean, I would say she she hard carries the looks <laughs> in our relationship. Oh, you would say. <laughs> you know, like I got it like that, but like, you know, I'm in her Jan support when it comes to that. You know, I just think she's, she's got, she has makeup on right now, but shush, she shush. is genuinely beautiful in my opinion with no makeup. I honestly kind of like her better with no makeup. I tell her all the time and she thinks I'm lying, but I don't know. Um, and then the third would probably be, she is very strong and I feel like no matter what gets in her way, she always makes the best of it, which I think is like probably the most important trait because you know, not even like with relationships, but just life, you guys obviously all know, like you're gonna have the highs and the lows and she does a really good job of battling those lows and coming through and then having an even higher high. I just use basically a stock analysis right there, by the way, I'm a herb. But on that note, guys, that is gonna be it for us. I hope you enjoyed the Q&A with me and Kat. Hi. Let me know how she did in the comments section below. I think she absolutely killed it. Um, don't forget nice to, to wait, say it, say it. <laughs> what? Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and comment. Let's go. One thumbs up because we only got one. Appreciate it though. <laughs> Take care until next time. We're out. <laughs>